Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I didn't do this in the right order. i got to put my glove on still. So uh, I hope you guys can hear me. I actually don't have any way to check, and I didn't ask you in advance, so if it's not working, none of us knows the problem. Uh, hang on. i got to put you down, too. Right there. Okay, now I've got an A glove on. So, this is our mom cat, Cuddles. I don't know what's in, got into DJ that she would name this little girl Cuddles. But she turns out she actually is very sweet. She just has some things that kind of set her off, and she'll smack you, and that's her language. Which reminds me of another mom cat we had that was super sweet, uh, but when I would try to leave the room, she would always attack me. Sometimes very violently attack me when I would try to leave. Um, I think this is this girl is just like that in a way. Um, her, she's got different triggers. She doesn't seem to mind when I leave the room, but uh, when something does, you know, sort of is her thing that she has a problem with, she will smack it. And I haven't entirely learned. Oh, look at the little boy. I haven't entirely learned what those things are or how to mitigate them, so that's why I'm always going to be wearing a glove uh, while I deal with her, because then she can smack me as much as she wants, and I don't even have to react. And it seems like she respects that, because she'll smack me, and I'll just sit there without moving, and then she stops. So that's nice. Uh, you'll notice that she doesn't mind me petting her. In fact, she quite likes it. She usually will lean into the pets with her face or purr. Um, so that's good news too and so far don't make a liar out of me she hasn't minded me picking up her kittens at all which is why today we're going to try weighing them now, I don't know who's who um, I don't have a weight chart or a spreadsheet or anything uh, yet and besides that I got my hands full in here so uh, I'm just going to get a good look at each of them and put them on the uh, scale and then we can put them all into a chart later as we can. Um, there we go. And if you haven't been watching, you might also know that she's got really bad diarrhea right now. So we're going to keep an eye out and see if we have to pull that blanket out too. She's been kind of leaky. Okay. Well, let's get started. Hi, sweetheart. Let's get started. Okay, what do you think? Let's take one of your babies that's sitting right here, ready to go. How about this little guy right here? There we go. Okay, focus. Hi. Okay, so this is the one I think of as number four. This is the one that she took with her when she was in the garage. The little mostly gray and white one. Weighs 5.9 ounces today. And let's just get a look at your distinctive markings if we can. All right, big fat white belly, white paws, gray tabby. Actually, I don't think this is the one that's number four. I guess we'll see them all in a minute. Focus. He's got a little spot next to his nose. That's, that's his color. Okay. Okay, we don't need to make you struggle. So there we go. Whoever that is weighs 5.9 or 6 ounces. Let's just see if we can avoid taking him twice on accident. Actually, I think it's the next two that are going to be the most confusing. So he must be number four. And then we got the two twins. She's trying to hide them a little bit, I know, but she's not going to bother me if I do take them, I don't think. She hasn't been, and if I do get a smack, well, I deserve it, don't I? Okay, so let's take this guy. Okay. So he's almost entirely gray, but you can see, look, his little toesies have just a tiny little smack of white on the end there. 6.2 for whoever this one is. It's okay, buddy. I got you. I got you. But very gray. No white on the face. Let's see if he's got white on his belly. Oh, yeah. He's got a couple white spots. He's got a little white spot on his neck that you uh, probably couldn't see, and he's got one by his butt that you can probably see. Oh, it's under his tail now. There you see a little... Uh, oh, hi. It's okay. And look, he's got this white thing next to his ear that's real interesting. Okay, okay. Stop being so loud. It's okay, Mom. You're going to give your mom a panic. <laughs> so that's got that really interesting little white streak behind his ear. That's very distinctive. Now, we got to find the other gray one if we can. And I know she's starting to get nervous now. It's just because they're making so much noise. 
Oh, but he's right here. Very easy to get. Okay. Oh, or is this the same one as number one again? I think it is. Let's just pick him up to see. Yeah, this is number one again. You again, buddy? Hi, we already saw you, but I'm going to give you a kiss anyway. Okay, just a little kiss. There you go, Mom. Yeah. So I think the one that we want is probably this guy then, right in front. Hi, can I borrow this guy, please? Can I please borrow him? Sorry about my camera work, guys. I'm really focused on other things. <laughs> Hi, I know. The one that she's got her paw on is the one I think we want to weigh next. And the black one is under him, so she's really, she's really got me. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. <laughs> You're being very nice. You know, I've had mom cats that like me that aren't this nice, though, about me picking up their babies. I promise I'll give him right back, okay? Just like the others. Okay, so this I think is the other one. We can tell because there's no mark behind his ear. But he, is there? He's got the same marks here. He's got that little one under his arm. But no, I don't see anything behind his ear. Wow. I think their marks on their belly are the same. But. He's got both little underarms, and he's got one at the back of his, uh, you know, like under his tail spot. There we go. Oh, darn. There, you can see his tail's trying to hide it, but you see the white on either side. Let's see what you weigh. Maybe that's... Oh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to bring him right back with the scale turned off. That's terrible. i got to really coordinate this better. Okay, hang on. We're just going to get his weight in reverse. 6.2. Is that what the other guy weighed, too? There he was. You're on top of your mom. Let her calm down for a minute. 6.2. Zero that out. Let's just double check. I don't even have to pick you up if I can just see a spot behind your ear. Well, now I'm confused. Let's just take this other gray kid real quick and then we'll know for sure who's who. Okay? Because we know this is not the one that we just weighed. Let's do a quick compare. This is important, Ma. I know, I know. I'm really, really pushing my boundaries with you today, but that's why we waited. Okay, 6.3 for you. And let's see if you have the same distinctive markings or if we just got confused. Well, he's got a much bigger chest spot, so this is the other one. We just weighed that one twice. I think. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay. I know. Hang on there. So this one's got the big spot on his chest, like right over his heart. Okay, okay, stop yelling though, because mom is not going to like that. And you weigh 6.3, and we're going to pick you right back up. There you go. And give you right back to mom so she knows that we're good. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Oh, you're a good mom. All right, that leaves us with only the little black one who already had one eye open the other day. I don't know if he's going to show it to us, because when I picked him up yesterday, he was squeezing them both real tight shut. But let's see. He had an eye open yesterday, if you can believe that, which would be a new record for us. And uh, if anybody wants to know, they were born the day I picked them up, for sure, uh, because the homeowner told me that they were, and one of them still had a fresh uh, placenta attached to it. I had to break the umbilical cord myself. So I'm real certain that that is, in fact, when they were born. She's not mistaken. There was physical evidence. The black guy's right under here. <laughs> Buddy, why does this have to be so difficult? Your mom's really looking askance at me now. But I do want to check everybody and get a real quick look. So let's just scoop him out of there. All right, there we go. So this is the black one who I, I know this one's name is Marshmallow because there were people making jokes about it. And because I remember DJ picking Marshmallow for the black one. And he does have just a tiny spot of white there on his neck. You see it's very tiny. I felt like he had another spot of white somewhere that I saw. Okay, okay, buddy. Hey, hey. The spiciest? Yes, he is actually the spiciest. He was the one that hissed at me the most. 
Uh, and that's this eye that's open that's got the little tiny little bit of crust on it, but I'm not going to be able to do anything about that yet. He's so dark. He's very pretty, isn't he? Okay. All right, that's everybody weighed. I don't know who they all are right now, but that's everybody at least checked. And now next time we check, we'll be able to tell if mom having the bad poops is affecting them in any way. But I think she's been very good about um, nursing them. Like they just all seem fat and happy and full of energy. So I don't think that she's letting the fact that she's not feeling good get to them. Um, which is frankly amazing to me how clean they are considering what a mess her box has been. And uh, I think I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. Something tells me that maybe the reason she's got bad poops is just because I fed her so much like really fatty, rich food. And so I've taken her off the fatty, rich food and put her just on plain Fancy Feast and plain Nulo are her options right now. And I feel like it's already making an improvement since last night. Uh, and I'll put some more probiotics in her food. And with a little luck, she'll be back to normal poops and normal everything in, in no time at all. Here, buddy, you want to come around front with your mom? Come here. There we go. It's very awkward to try to do any sort of uh, picking up little babies or uh, cleaning or anything with these gloves on. But at this point, I gotta, I gotta get my comfort. I gotta make sure I'm ready to be petting her without the glove on. She's been very good during this little filming session, but sometimes I pet her a little too much in the back, and she'll just all of a sudden smack me and be like, "Nope." And I don't want that to happen when I'm not wearing the, the gloves. So for now, hopefully we can lose them eventually. That would be nice, wouldn't it? You're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Her colors are so dark and bold. She's got perfect markings. And thank goodness she came in. She was, I would say, a little bit chunky compared to most of the mom cats we get. Like she had a little bit more weight on her. And I think that's great, because it means she can be a little sick now, and she's got the reserves that she needs to see that through without us needing to worry too much. Of course, we worry anyway, but... There we go. Okay, I just want to take a look with you guys. She smells clean and looks clean, too, in here, so maybe she's got their leakiness under control, which would be a very nice thing. Even if she's going to have bad poops, as long as she's not doing them in here, <laughs> that makes a huge difference in my opinion. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Thank you for letting me weigh your babies. I hope everybody did get to see that and hear it. I'm not just talking to myself this whole time. Pretty girl and such pretty babies. And spicy marshmallow is uh, when I was noticing that he had his eye open yesterday. I was looking at him and he was hissing at me, and then I petted him more and he started spitting and sort of trying to smack me. Even he's so tiny and feisty. We've had plenty of kittens that act that way, though. I know he's going to come out with a great personality in the end. I do see a dirty spot right there, huh? Now I see it. All right, well, I'm going to do a quick blanket change because if we take one out, there's also going to be a little more room in here for her. But I can't do that without having both hands. Actually, I think we stressed her out enough, and that's not much dirty. I'll change the blanket next time I come in. Right? Okay, thanks, everybody. <laughs>